Uh, for me, it's the interesting thing is why did you start your own CD company? Weil diese CD Spirito ist jetzt auf der, einem neuen Label erschienen, das heißt Prima Classic. Es werden jetzt laufend auch neue Opern-Gesamtaufnahmen und Solo-CDs erscheinen. Und es ist jetzt sozusagen ein eigenes Label von Frau Marina Rebecca. Sie hat bis jetzt gesungen auf Decker, Deutsche Grammophon, Warner, Emi, Naxos und jetzt auch ein eigenes Label. Ja. And well, um, why did you start? Um, there were a few few things that I wanted to have in a certain level because I'm very big perfectionist. <laughs> First of all, um, I would like to have always an artistic freedom of whatever I do, which means I want to choose myself a repertoire what I sing, with whom I sing, when I sing, and the way I sing. Because what happens very often is you have, let's say, you have a planning of recording. For such a repertoire as this one, it's impossible to do six days in a row because you simply don't have the voice because this is extremely difficult, you know? So I need a pausa, for example, in the middle. If I do something like this, usually it's a big complication because obviously for orchestra, they can play every day. They don't know that the voice gets tired, yeah? Um, so it's very important to have right planning, to have a right repertoire, to choose who is the conductor whom you feel the best, with whom you have, um, let's say, emotional and also the, the same vision of the repertoire. Uh, it's also very important for me um, the way how the final look of the product is. Because, for example, this CD, okay, somebody can say, well, this looks like you're so serious. I could have put a smiley picture, which is much more me, for example, like inside. But this wouldn't be the type of uh, personalities that I portray on the CD. These are all, you know, the two queen beheaded. Uh, 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 the Vestale, okay, she was desperate, okay, uh, in the end it's good, end, but Norma was, was uh, you know, in flames. Um, uh, uh, the, the Imogene got cuckoo. You know, they are all <laughs> crazy, you know, crazy scenes, very, and then you have the smiley picture in, 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 in the front, which has nothing to do with, with this thing. So the look should somehow already, um, bring you into atmosphere of um, or, or the mood of what is going on. Uh, for example, the same thing happened when we were discussing a lot with Bear about this, and I'm very happy they took my opinion. Uh, the previous CD, Amor Fatale, where I have this, uh, mm, there are these black clouds behind, and, and I'm in this red dress, which dramatic red color, but you can see that something is going on, something is wrong. There are black clouds, there's some, the, the tempest is coming, you know? Why? Because it's all about that. It's all. It's 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 not happy. It's not uh, uh, just for uh, beauty of singing, you know. So this was very important. Then, next point, which was extremely important for me, uh, was uh, so-called quality of the sound. So, um, what do we mean by that? Um, maybe you have heard that some voices are considered good for recording, and sometimes it's considered bad for recording. Why? Uh, it's not about the voice because very often we can see that the voice which fantastically goes into opera house and fills in the opera house and it's heard everywhere then in recording it somehow doesn't sound the same it sounds a little bit shouty or or big or very far away uh, so we're talking here not about the voice the artistic voice but we're talking about artistic approach of the uh, sound in the recording uh, which I'm very happy for because I have my husband who helps me with that and he knows a lot and he knows my voice. Um, but this is very important because if you record something and then you're not happy with the quality of your voice, you cannot recognize your voice, um, it's really not worse, clearly. Then uh, it was also interesting for me that the booklet is also something personal because nowadays we have internet. Each of you can go on Wikipedia and read, okay, La Vestale was written this and this and this year, what happened? All the information is there. Nobody really thinks, why is the booklet needed? You know, what's, what's the point of writing just facts or... It's interesting to have an approach, why I chose this repertoire 
and the same for all the singers who will be with our label to express their feeling why they chose their, their repertoire to, to somehow bring the listener nearer to the interpreter to, 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 to have the hint, to have the, the welcome into the music that is in the CD, you know. So the CD not becomes just a form of, of, of you know, selling or business, but it's an artwork because in the end, um, leaving the CD in the history, it's something which is the track of something that you could do quite well and it stays there forever. So what would be the point of doing something and in the end you're not happy with the quality? It's really not worse, I mean, in my opinion. So when I saw that there was this possibility and my husband helped me a lot with this, to have control about all these points of artistic expression and to create something that you're really happy with because we are also not limited in time. Usually, um, how it happens, you know, a sound engineer comes and says, okay, today we have two hours of mixing Rebecca. Let's mix Rebecca. But sometimes you need more time. You need to work until you really get result and the artist is happy with result and everybody is happy with result. So uh, it's, uh, I mean, maybe it's my perfectionism, but I wanted to have each recording as something of the best that I could leave, you know, and and I find it's it's very important. I me. think so too, uh, because the recording is your signature. Exactly. And if you are not happy with your signature, it doesn't help you. The same as the voice. Yeah. The voice is is is, is your personality. Yes. It's is your signature. If you listen to yourself, say what this is me, this is not me. You, yeah. it, you know, it's 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 a weird, uh, it's a weird feeling. It's not not correct. Where did you find, uh, especially with Spirito, where did you find the original manuscripts, the scores? Ah. This is something really uh, very important and I suggest we should listen before we answer this important question to uh, Maria Stuada to the finale. Ah. 